hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel in my last uh, uh episode of this uh, analog cctv analog camera training i explained to you guys on the functions of uh the ports that we have on a dvr okay so i i believe i tried my best to say one or two about these ports so in today's video we're going to be doing uh, a physical connection and also uh we're going to see how to set up I first installed uh, uh, DVR. So today I'm going to connect a camera here and I'm going to also connect uh, a HDMI cable from our DVR to our monitor and also we're going to power on this DVR. We're going to use a mouse on this USB port to do the setup of this uh, DVR. So, um, you know, we are still on analog camera. So analog camera is what we're going to be uh, dealing with today. All right, so guys, stay tuned and let's go to the screen and see how this is being done. Uh, so guys, we are here. So I'm going to be connecting my camera to this DVR, okay? Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, please don't bother about this environment. This is my workstation. So this is where I used to do my uh, uh, practice classes and whatever. So please avoid what you are seeing here. Let's just focus on what is here. Okay, so first of all, I have this 12 volt adapter. I'm going to plug it to the DVR to power it on. Okay, secondly, I have my mouse. So this is my mouse. So I'm going to plug it in to this USB port. If you have not watched my video where I explained this, please go back to my channel and do that. Okay, the next is uh, going to be my HDMI cord. So this HDMI has been connected to this monitor. Okay. So I'm going to plug it in here. So I'm going to on my monitor. So uh, I'm not going to connect these cameras now. I'm going to do that after I've, I must have do the initial setup of the DVR. Okay. So and I'm uh, also I have a video that I've, I've showed you guys on how to crimp a BNC. So please, I'm not going to do that in this video. Go back to my channel and learn that. So these BNCs have already been crimped. In the boot and so the other end of each of them here is connected to these cameras so i have these cameras here okay so they connect through the back and come back here so like i said this is just like a workshop to me this is where i do my rough works and uh practice it like that so these bnc's have been connected to those cameras so i'm going to connect it to the dvr after i might have done the initial uh configuration of this dvr okay so Let's go to the screen and see what happens. So guys, this is the initial uh, page you see when you're on your DVR. This is a Dawa DVR. But that DVRs may have a different interface, okay? So, uh, please avoid the beep sound. It's telling me that there's no hard disk. If you watch it, there's no disk on this DVR. That's why it's making that sound. I'm going to off it immediately we finish this configuration. So the first thing here is the region telling us to choose our region. So I'm going to choose uh, Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria now. So language is English and uh, the video standard, we're going to leave it as PAL. Next. So here is the terms and conditions. So uh, you can read this and see what is happening here. So I'm going to click on yes. I've read it. And next. So the time zone, I'm in Africa, so is uh, I'm going to be using uh, UTC plus one, and uh, my system date and uh, year is correct as of now in my country is 1207, so it's correct. I'm not going to change it. If your one is not, please just change it from here. Next. So here is uh, the security part, so it's asking us for password and he's saying that this password must be up to 8 to 32 characters including uh, a lower case a higher case and a characters okay so i'm going to be using i'm just going to be using a b c one two three four five for this tutorial class so a b c one two three four five so that's what I'm going to be using for this class. Next. So here is pattern, another security. So we're going to use this. We're going to use this. So 
this part again is very important and uh is saying reserve email so this email is um uh, just a kind of email whereby when you forget your password uh, the company that produced the particular device will send you a recovery link to the provided email here but uh, in the case of this tutorial i'm not going to be using this okay so uh, security questions security questions in case maybe you, uh, you forgot the password the same thing so it's now asking you some kind of security questions to be sure you know that you're the one that initially configured it so they'll be asking you similar questions these questions here to input it to make sure you're not a robot or maybe you're not a hacker uh, okay just confirm that you're the one that installed the dvr so here i advise people to just use a simple letter or maybe a simple word you don't really need to answer this the way it is so just use something you can easily remember whenever these questions pops up okay so i'm going to use aaa for this tutorial okay the next is uh the updates auto updates is very important okay it's advisable you leave uh you leave it checked so that whenever your system this dvr is being connected to the network is going to update the firmware and give you all the necessary securities uh the newly security the firmware has okay so it's necessary you leave the auto updates on okay so next here's the device name so you can change your device name from this part so here is saying xvr so you can change it to your preferred device name so i'm going to be using something like uh cc tv okay so you can choose any device name at all you want so this device number in case you have multiple let me assume you are installing an estate so you have different dvrs uh, in the estate and you want to number them so you can say dvr1 is number this dvr2 is number this dvr3 is number this okay just name on your uh you can give the name different names to your different numbers to your dvr from this particular uh place okay when you link dvrs together in this in the same network in a LAN or so okay so here is the language so we're going to use english the video standard we're going to leave it the same way and uh, i don't think we have any other thing to do here so next so the time zone too i think we have configured this we don't need it now so here is the TCP IP part, the network part. So uh, this is the default IP address for this device. Okay. And this is where you do your network test in case I plug in a router with a network to this device. So this is where you come and check. Yes, my network is uh, have internet access when I test the network. Okay. So if you test and it's showing successful, it's showing reading then and the network is okay. So I'm going to do OK. Next. So here is for your peer-to-peer. -peer. Here is when you want to view your system, your footage, your camera on your mobile phone. So this page is uh, where you come to do those things. So this particular code here is where you scan to download the app. And this is the serial uh, number that you scan inside the app to give you access. And also, this status here must be on. That means uh, a network must be given to your DVR before uh, before here shows online. Now it's offline, so you must give network to your DVR for here to show online. Okay, and always enable this. You must enable this for this to function well. All right. So next, okay, we're going to leave this smart coded very important to leave it also at h26 uh 265 in case you have a uh, uh, lesser technology lesser cameras h264 you can see pick it and give it a good compression and uh, the bit rate is okay 1024 frame rate is also okay we're going to leave it the subscreen to the configuration here is fine so let's go to next Okay, next is a uh, channel type, schedule, size, and uh, thing here too is okay. 
all right here is about the storage okay override and uh, stop now stop means once my hard disk is being filled don't record again override means once my hard disk is filled delete old footage and start recording for me new footage okay uh, create video file length you can do that here and uh, delete expired files so you can customize this and say okay after 30 days please delete the files i don't need again okay you can do that here all right here is the schedule the recording schedule okay many people used to say that uh, i have a 500 gb and i have eight, ca eight cameras and uh, it doesn't stay two weeks my hard disk is full okay here can solve it for you one is either you increase your hard disk to one terabyte or two terabyte or you come here and do your recording schedules okay general means record everything 24 hours keep recording for 20 hours day and morning motion means record only on motion so it's only when the camera detects someone that the uh the hard disk will pick the footage and record into it okay and also you can select this you can say okay monday tuesday wednesday do all 24 hours then uh wednesday thursday friday saturday let's set it on motion okay so i'm going to do i'm going to do a different video on this configuration but not on this video because this is kind of a wide configuration something we need to cool down and explain so that we can understand this very well okay so i'm going to have a different video for this so here the same thing okay switch to uh resolution okay So guys, thank you for purchasing our product. That's the welcome note. Okay, we are done uh, configuring this system initially. So what are, what I'm going to do now? I'm going to plug the camera and let's see the view. So it's loading okay so i just plug in one camera here so this is the camera i just plug it's one of the ones i have here up here okay so i'm going to turn this to night mode so this is the night mode of this camera all right so guys uh this is just about this video you know like i told you guys just on how to configure uh, a newly installed DVL that's just about uh, this particular video so before I end this video let me turn off this uh, beeping alarm that has been disturbing us so you go to main menu come to alarm and uh, come to this alarming okay you can do it from here from these exceptions but I just want to turn off every alarm at all so let me just turn everything off okay so we are good guys no more beeping so if you have any query any review any question you want to ask put it down in the comment section below and please like this video if you learned something from it and also if you have not subscribed to this channel i want to be following up with my video series we have a lot of video to do we are still coming to ip cameras please subscribe to this channel click on the notification button so that you'll be alert whenever a new video is being uh, posted on my channel thank you guys and uh, let's see in my next video